Bapanada, everyone! The ancient creatures from long ago have bestowed upon me the knowledge. The knowledge I need to finally be able to tell you when Silksong will release. I have dream nailed every member of Team Cherry so I can get all the info I need to give you every single possibility for a Silksong release date. But still, take this with a grain of salt. A lot of grains of salt. Like, the amount you will need can be determined using this easy formula. But before we jump right into it, let's hear a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Existential Dread. Thanks for coming back for yet another video. Really nice. But jokes aside, my real sponsor, Joni's Juice, said that they would sponsor another video if this one right here hits 500 likes. And they also said that they would allow me to see my family again. Not gonna lie, I kinda miss them. Also, I somehow forgot to include two questions into the last Q&A. So now, they have their time to shine. Dark Knight asks, where else can I follow you? Well, what a coincidence that you ask right now. You can follow me on Twitter, Patreon and join my Discord and subreddit, all linked in the description. And for your second question, should I subscribe? Well, given that around 80% of my viewers are not subscribed, now is the time to do so. Subscribe and hit the bell! But before we really dive into my prediction, we have to get something out of the way first. In this video I will present some facts you may not know about and my interpretation of these facts. I've done some deep dives into Team Cherry's marketing language before, but this time I will get it right. Why you ask? Well, it was because my mistakes from before were not actually my fault. The real culprit was Nintendo. Nintendo has done two things, which led many to believe Silksong was gonna release way before it actually is. So just to clarify, we do not believe what Nintendo has said to be true, because it simply wasn't. First of all, the thing most of you know, back at E3 2019, Nintendo claimed Silksong was gonna come soon. This basically fucked with the whole fandom, as we took these words as gospel. As it turned out, however, this was not true. According to Leth, the marketing manager of Team Cherry, Team Cherry never told Nintendo that Silkson was coming soon, and as much as I love Leth for making those totally great riddles for the community earlier this year, in which we will dive a bit later, I do have to say that he should have said something regarding the coming soon statement earlier than when he did. It almost took one year to actually prove Nintendo's claim wrong. Don't take this wrong, however. I love Lev and he has done so much for the community in the last few months. And I still have a shrine built in his image at home, where I present sacrifices to him and Team Cherry, but I have to voice criticism where it is due. Second of all, Nintendo released the 2020 roadmap and well, Silksong is on there. If we take a look, some of these, which had no release date when the roadmap was announced, will actually come out soon-ish. However, as Nintendo has already stretched the truth with their coming soon statement before, the roadmap can also not be taken seriously. And also, this is not me bashing Nintendo, I actually love them, but I'm just stating what happened here. So now that this is out of the way, let's go to the core part of the prediction. First of all, let's talk about the riddles. Back in July, Team Cherry broke their silence after over 6 months and released 4 riddles over the course of 4 weeks. Those riddles were created by Lev, the aforementioned marketing manager. Now what we want to look into is, why were these riddles created at this exact time? Of course, the community jumped onto these riddles and jumped back onto the hype drain because of them. I think the reason this worked so well was because A. We were starving for new information and B, since E3 didn't happen this year, this kind of filled a void, I think. Anyway, back to it. It would be a bit weird marketing-wise to release these riddles weekly and then not follow it up for another 6 or 7 months. The thing is, a perfect release date is kinda hard this year. If you don't get any info regarding Silksong for the next half year, the hype train might slow down a bit. But from a business standpoint, when is a good release window? 
We have to take into account that two new consoles are releasing this holiday season. And believe me, the Wi-Fi router and the fridge are going to take over media outlets and YouTube gaming videos for sure. It can be expected that both of these consoles will release between mid-October and the end of November, so releasing Silksong anywhere in this window will be kinda hard. However, since there aren't going to be that many holiday titles this year, a December release would be... fine actually. An early 2021 release, on the other hand, would make sense because there's a lot more time to finish up the game. But there are also two downsides. Number one, the holiday push is over. Many people buy games during that season, so Team Cherry would miss out on a part of the casual audience if they were to release Silk Song right after the holiday season. And there's also going to be a lot of competition in early 2021, as many indie titles aim to release in that sweet first quarter of the year, as there usually is not a lot of AAA competition in that time frame. However, we also have to ask ourselves, does Team Cherry even care? Because back in 2017, Hollow Knight released at the arguably worst time, right before the launch of the now widely successful Nintendo Switch and the release of big games like Horizon Zero Dawn or Zelda Breath of the Wild. And many think that did not matter, since obviously Hollow Knight was a huge success. And yeah, of course it was but it was more snowballing into becoming huge. It wasn't like Five Nights at Freddy's or Undertale, which exploded onto the scene. If we take a look at sales figures, Hollow Knight needed 9 months to sell 500,000 copies, and only another 7 months to sell another 500,000 copies, making it a million seller on PC just before it was released on Switch. Thanks to that Switch release, Hollow Knight managed to sell another whopping 1.8 million copies by February 2019, so in just 8 more months, it actually sold more than 3 times as much as the game sold in the first 9 months on the market. This is of course largely due to the Switch release, however, it at least proves that the initial release wasn't as big of an explosion as it could have been. So even though Team Cherry might just not care about competition and seem to have a we will just release it once it is done attitude, there are still effects to be felt. Team Cherry, though they are a company, never appear to be a greedy bitch, like I am, so it might feel right for them to just not care about all of this stuff. But even if this portion of the video didn't amount to a definitive answer yet, I'd rather analyze something and have a rather unexciting outcome than to not deal with stuff like this at all. And the big part of this video is about to come next. Let's analyze the blog post from December 2019. Thinking about this blog post might seem like creating arbitrary links between words. And yes, many have done so, but in my opinion, there almost only were two extremes, neither of which were close to being right. I'll explain it to you in a bit. Let's jump right in and read a bit from it. Right up front, we are still going, building this very large game. Our desire to keep building and building and building sure has not diminished, but our timelines have stretched a bit both to account for all that exciting new stuff and to type everything else. As a small progress tease, you may remember for six when we promised over 150 all new enemies. To us, that always seemed a conservative estimate, and it turns out we were right. Here are just a few foes that came to life this week. Enemy number 163, 64 and 65. And as some assurance, we're not just randomly building things without an end in sight. We know how this story unfolds and as much as we add, our intent is always to invoke the feeling of exploring a vast, surprising new world. One that matches or exceeds the scale and diversity of the original game. We can't wait to one day talk about all the wild evolutions to this new world that have taken place behind the scenes. But that day, we'll have to wait until after the game is out and in your hands. Many people use this as proof that Silksong will come soon, and many think that Silksong was at around 50% at that point. Both of these claims are most likely to be wrong in my own personal opinion. Seeing how they mentioned they are about to tie things up appears to mean that most pieces are there, some of them just have not been placed yet. And seeing how they talk about still building the game is really interesting. Back in February 2019, when Silkson was first announced, 
They already mentioned that the game was already almost full with ideas. And in December they basically said that they are still building, even though most of the things are probably just tweaks like some tool combinations, similar to charm combos from back then, and some tweaks and values here and there, plus the last enemies and bosses and environments. Some crazy people said just because they are at enemy 165, it doesn't mean that they are equally far with the environments at all, saying that maybe they just straight up still have to do half of those, while maybe just a few enemies remain to be made. Well, while that could be the case theoretically, it is not. Team Cherry stated once, I think it was during the Reddit AMA, that for Hollow Knight they built everything chronologically, meaning they started with King's Pass and its enemies, then moved on to Deadmouth and Forgotten Crossroads and so on. So them saying they are at enemy 165 also most likely means that they are similarly far with creating the environments and the other things that go into this game. Of course, we don't know how many enemies will end up in the game. My personal reasonable guess would be between 170 and 200, whereas 200 is a high estimate. So, Team Cherry has started working on first ideas for Silksong even before the launch of the original Hollow Knight, meaning that early 2017 they already were throwing around first ideas for Silksong. That leaves us with three and a half years of development time so far, although they also had to take some time off for the DLCs, so we have to take at least half a year or so off of that. So, if they have been working on Silksong for so long, and back in December they already were so far into development, why isn't it out yet? Now we get into the other extreme, the theories of which were debunked by the passing of time itself. Many people saw the blog post and thought, okay, Silksong is about to come out any minute now, and that is the big thing that people forget. Testing. A huge chunk of development is reserved for testing. And since Team Cherry don't have the pressure to deliver anything in a certain time frame, they will go all out on testing. It is the only way to ensure the game works as it should. Maybe some of the testers combine certain items in ways Team Cherry didn't even think of. So, them bringing the game bug free is one huge goal of testing. There are at least two other things though. First, value tweaking. Maybe a tester thought that a certain attack of a certain enemy needs to be 50% slower to not be so hard to avoid, or vice versa. Or maybe a tester thinks, okay, but how about there is an effect created when combining this tool and that tool? There are many little tweaks to still be done alongside voice acting, sound design in general, and translations. Add to that the effect 2020 has had on all of us for obvious reasons. He just doesn't want to say Corona out loud in the video, because otherwise the monetization of the video will get domestically abused by YouTube. Well, thank you, strangely familiar voice from the background. So anyway, where does all of this leave us? It leaves us with... My verdict, my predictions. Seeing all these things, I do have to say that we most likely will get no or just one big blog post until the release. This is just because I really think they want to be very secretive about Silksong, so after all we have discussed, I think a release window would be from now until mid-October, and then from mid-December until end of March. I think the last of these is more likely to be true, although Team Cherry could just release a release date trailer literally any day and the game could come out like two weeks after that. Or they could release it on March 23rd, which would be nice because it is my birthday, so please Team Cherry, give me a present. <laughs> but none of these have any valid reasoning behind them but I feel like I need to say an arbitrarily exact release date, so I will. The 14th of February 2021, Valentine's Day. Two years after Silksong's announcement and almost exactly four years after the launch of the original Hollow Knight. That's it. That's the video. I got no like joke to end this one on. I, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Uh, see you and always wear a mask. Any, anything else? No, no I, I, I don't think so. Just kidding, bye Jonas, choose you fucking plebs!